Whenever you're playing somebody toxic or you score a screamer and need to celebrate on your opponent, then here is your complete list of the best, funniest, longest, and most toxic celebrations in EAFC. And I've taken the entire list of all the celebrations in this game and cut it down to the best 21 celebrations. And at the very end, I'll be showing you the best three celebrations that I use to make my opponent break his monitor every single time. So here are the top 21 celebrations in the entire game, and I've divided it into four categories. And for the first one, here are the most toxic celebration. For number one, this wouldn't be a celebrations list if we didn't include old reliable, the gritty. To do this, hold down RT or R1 and put the right stick up twice. But the second you do this in game, you need to be careful. This will make your opponent turn into the best FIFA player of all time, so get ready for the sweatiest game of your life. And if the gritty is a bit too much for you to handle, the second one is called stirring the pot. Hold down LT or L2 and double tap triangle or Y. Stirring the pot will mix things up, start some beef with him, and honestly just tell him to start trying a little bit harder. So similar to the gritty, only do this if you are insanely confident that you can win. And for the third celebration in the toxic category, it's gotta be the kitty cat. Hold down LB or L1 and put the right stick to to the left twice. You're gonna slide on your knees and claw at the air like a cat just being a weirdo man. And doing this will basically call your opponent out. So again, be careful. And the fourth and final toxic celebration is of course the leg cramp. Hold down LT or L2 and put the right stick to the left twice. You'll get injured and start limping around and then you'll start stomping all over your opponent. So those are the four most toxic celebrations, but we still have three more categories to get through that'll make your opponent break his monitor every time. So for the second category of celebrations with a little bit of reverse psychology, we have the respectful celebration. For the first one, start by throwing your hands in the air like you just committed a crime. Hold down LB or L1 and double tap B or circle. You'll walk around like you didn't do anything crazy even though you just scored an absolute piss missile rocket from 50 yards out far down in the top corner. And if you pretend like you didn't do anything, he's probably gonna get pissed off and just leave the game. And for the second respectful celebration, this is as close as you can get to Pep Guardiola putting his hands on his head during the Robert Lewandowski incident. To do this, this one only works when you're running around before the celebration actually starts. But after you score, put the right stick to the left and then left again and hold it there. You'll put your hands on your head and be in awe of the goal that you just scored, even if it was just a tap in from two yards out. And the final respectful celebration is literally bowing down to the goal. Hold down RT or R2 and hold the right stick down. You'll put your hands on your head and then you will lay on the ground stunned. And even though these are all respectful celebrations, they actually just tend to piss him off even more. But enough of the respectful celebrations, this next category we're gonna call Dunkin' Donuts, because you guys be doing a lot of glazing if you know what I mean. These celebrations are based on players in real life. These are their signature celebrations and their most iconic moments. So for the first one, it's gotta be my favorite player, Sonny Boy. Hold down RT or R2 and press X or square. You'll put your hands together and do the picture perfect, taking a picture and replicating Hyungmin Sun's most iconic celebration this year. And the next player you already know, it's probably the most iconic celebration of all time, Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> You probably already know how to do this because it's Ronaldo and if he was a donut, you guys would be glazing him all night long. But to do it, hold down RB or R1 and tap B or circle. And this one might be pretty toxic, but this next one I like just a little bit better. To do it, hold down LB or L1 and tap Y or triangle. This is how you do the messy celebration. Kind of. This is called All Ears and was first done by Raquelme, but since it was replicated by Messi during the World Cup, I'm just gonna give it to him like they did the Ballon d'Or. And in my opinion, I think that this is way more toxic than the Cristiano Ronaldo suit. And now that the two goats are out of the way, Messi and Kyung Min Son, this next one is Marcus Rashford. Hold down LT or L2 and double tap square or X. You'll put a finger to your forehead and start glazing Rashford for just a few seconds. And for a future icon celebration, this is as close to Bellingham as you can possibly get. Yeah. It's not officially in the game, but if you hold down RB or R1 and double tap Y or triangle, you'll put your arms straight in the air and get pretty close to the Jude Belly goal. And it's pretty good, but it does not make my top three celebrations this year. And the final player we have for this category is of course, Kylian Mbappe. To do the turtle, hold down LT or L2 and double tap B or circle. Every time Mbappe blows past me and scores and just puts his arms into his triangle, I absolutely lose my mind. But that's enough glazing for the day, we're gonna close out this 
category. And the final section before we get to my top three favorite celebrations this year, this category is going to waste your opponent's time because these are the longest celebrations in EAFC. So starting with the shortest one and working our way up to the longest time wasters, we have the big man. Hold down LB or L1 and hold the right stick to the right. This waits for your entire team to gather together and then they start dancing on him and wasting his time for a good seven or eight seconds. And even though this one is pretty iconic and absolutely hilarious, this next one is just a little bit longer. After you score, hold LT or L2 and hold the right stick up. This is the mannequin and you'll freeze in place and just make him watch you for a few seconds. And these seconds feel like minutes. And one that's similar but a little bit different is called the neighbor. Hold LT or L2 and flick the right stick down twice. Very similar to the mannequin where you freeze and kind of stare at him, but except this one, you're crouched down and your entire team gathers together. And everyone staring him down after you score a goal is unbelievably toxic and wastes his time. And the next time-wasting celebration for a throwback to the 2010 World Cup in South Africa, we have the South African dance. Hold RT or R2 and flick the right stick to the right twice. Your team will gather together and do the same exact dance from 2010 and it'll just make him watch for a good 10 or 11 seconds before it gets to the final cutscene. But for the longest celebration in the game, it's kind of a cheat code because it's not actually a celebration. If you score a goal and just run towards half or start running in circles, you can point the left stick in any direction and it'll waste as much time as possible before cutting to the cutscene. And if you want to be really toxic, you should do this for 8 or 9 seconds and right before it gets to the cutscene, start another one of the longest celebrations. If you can perfectly combine the two, you can waste his time for almost 30 seconds before he gets to the kickoff again. And now that we've seen the most toxic, most respectful players in real life, and the biggest time wasters, these are my top three celebrations in the entire game that are guaranteed to piss your opponent off. So starting at number three, we have just skipping the celebration. Psych, who do you think I am? Do you really think I just skip a celebration? No. So for the real number three, hold down LB or L1 and press square or X. This will flex on him, literally. You'll bring him a ticket to the gun show and yell in his face, asserting dominance and making sure he knows that he's your Stay toxic. And for my number two go-to celebration, feeling like a million bucks, it's gotta be the Conor McGregor money walk. Hold down LB or L1 and hold the right stick down. You'll do the money walk and swing your arms around, looking like you have the confidence of Drake walking around in a locker room absolutely disrespecting your opponent and making him rage quit. And the final go-to celebration is the one that I use when I score a winner or in the 90th minute because this one you literally wave at him goodbye. Hold down LB or L1 and push down on the right stick until it clicks. You'll do a little dance and then you'll wave at him as you send him back to the main menu. So that's my list of the top 21 celebrations in EAFC. So let me know which one's your favorite or if I missed anything in the comments below. And remember to hit that subscribe button and stay toxic. But thank you for watching and peace.